October 23rd marked a new era for Energy Star 7. What does that mean for suppliers as well as window and door manufacturers? Quite a lot actually. Whether you adhere to Energy Star 7 or not, the updated fenestration values will directly influence state-level codes such as Colorado, Massachusetts, and New York, and future standards across the US and Canada. Energy Star 7 pulls no punches with its U-value criteria and solar heat gain. It has, on average, improved U-value by another 18%. It's a big step forward for overall efficiency with careful considerations of cost. Further, the regions and performance criteria are all streamlined and easy to understand. So, how does this affect big glass, or in other words, window wall solutions? Well, it edges glass fabrication towards a couple of things. One, the use of triple glazed IGUs, and or two, the introduction of more coated surfaces. Let's take a look at the northern zones, since these are the most impacted by U-value, and frame construction. And remember that Energy Star 7 uses the total window U-value, as does NSPRC. This means that window, edge, and frame U-values are combined to yield a total system U-value. So the prescriptive performance says that we need a U-value of less than equal to 0.22 and a solar heat gain coefficient of greater than equal to 0.17. If you can't get that low in a U-value, fear not. You can also use the equivalent performance numbers. The idea of the energy equivalency is that the heat energy loss to the crappier U-value is recaptured through heat gain. At first glance, this may look hard to achieve, especially when dealing with increased heat gain. But there are ways to make this happen, even with doubles, which is what I think we're all after, after all. Take a look at the following popular frame systems. Everything from aluminum to steel to wood. The first frame appears to have a great U-value, but the solar heat gain is too low. Using the same frame, we can adjust our coatings to use more passive options such as IS-20, Energy Advantage, or Planetherm on both surface 2 of the outboard light and the room surface of the inboard light. Using a combination of these coatings will net the same 0.26 U value, but a heat gain of 0.55, which is perfectly in line with what Energy Star is citing for that northern zone. And it's in a double. Whether you're looking for configurations to submit and update through NFRC slash Fenstar, or seeking to model your window systems after the most current standards, it's clear that great frames with great glass will allow you to meet these requirements. So work with a fabrication partner can manipulate those low E coatings to net you the performance criteria you seek. Check out the description for a handy PDF outlining the different configurations that are available to you from Adnora to meet Energy Star 7.